Dirks, man, good to see you. We haven't, man, it's been it's been way been too long. I know this is crazy. They're just being back here in Nashville and uh, seeing people here, and then uh, ACMs, of course, and it's just seen a lot of old friends, and of course, this new way of communicating here, zooming. Yeah, how y'all doing? <laughs> we're doing pretty good. Did you spend a lot of time in Colorado, like over the past year? Someone had told us that you were spending a lot of time over there. Yeah, I, I moved out there in March and uh, lived there for a year. Uh, uh -huh. when everything happened, and uh, it was. Yeah, you know, it was definitely the silver lining of all this was get a chance to be out there and kind of just take a break from everything and really dive into mountains and adventure and outdoor and my kids and family. So it was awesome. I'm back in Nashville now and gearing up for the summer. And uh, uh -huh. so, yeah, that was a nice, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to get back out on the road, but that was a nice uh, little break there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hawkeye, yeah. you were just in Colorado. I feel like both of y'all could be like so Let's brothers. Let's talk about uh, it. <laughs> yeah, <where are> you? <laughs> Seriously. I went to this area called uh, uh, Salida. Have you ever yeah. heard of that town? Salida? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I went skiing uh, a couple different places up through there. I'd never been cool. before uh, a monarch and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, Monarch's great. That's just down the road from where I was in Telluride. Uh, yeah, great, great spot. Great, skiing was great this year. A lot of snow and a lot of, a lot of forts building, a lot of forts and sledding and snowball fights and, and uh, snowmen. We had a great winter. It was really, I miss it. Oh, so you were, you were in Telluride. That's a hard place to get to. It's, it's like, so hard. Like, That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah. It's like one road. There's like literally yeah. one road in yeah. and then it just ends at town. Yeah, that's that's it's, it stops there. I mean, you can get over it, but you need a four wheel drive. But uh, it's a box candy. Yeah, it was, that's where I was, and uh, it was yeah, it was like I said, a really uh, you know, a, I know it's COVID's been tough on on everybody, and certainly um, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for me and my guys, I was able to keep my core uh crew of twenty five on salary and whatnot. So it, I didn't feel too bad about ditching everybody to go to the mountains because I know they can have yeah. some time to do their own thing and not be stressed financially. But uh, it's gonna be back here. I, I wouldn't mind making a little bit of money, but more importantly, I wouldn't <laughs> mind just uh, getting back, back on the road and seeing fans' faces. And, and yeah. just, you know, I cannot wait to be on stage and be out there doing our thing and, and with more gratitude than ever. Man, yeah. and hats off to you for keeping your uh, your crew on salary. That's not, you know, something that I guess we hear a lot. We probably hear the bad stuff a lot of the time. So for you to do that, I mean, that, that had to that that warms yeah. my heart i mean that really helps out those guys and i know they everyone's been struggling in the music business yeah i think i'm i'm probably one of the few uh but for me you know i, I you gotta w walk the walk if you talk to talk and my band and crew is it is family you know it's a family deal out there and when i walk back on stage the next time i want to make sure it feels comfortable to be on stage with my guys knowing that i didn't like just bail on them when yeah, COVID hit. Yeah. so when you see us on stage it's a real you know, the camaraderie we have as a band and as a crew um is real and uh that's some yeah, it's that last little bit when you're on stage for the live show the show could be 95 percent great but it's the last couple percents that make for a fan to go wow not only are they playing the hits and having fun but that can tell it's a genuine like love on that stage and that's important to me uh you know when you're trying to hit out of the park every night all right before we let you go speaking of on stage you've got some very special plan for the acms for sunday night and uh, we met the war and treaty uh, yes. the other, they're amazing. Uh, yeah, tell us them. how you chose that song and how, how you guys got together with them. Uh, they played my Seven Peaks Festival out in Colorado in Buena Vista a couple of years ago. I, and I asked them because I'm huge fans of theirs. And uh, we also did something at the Hall of Fame. And I just love them. I just they're just such great energy, uh, big voices, fun to be around. I was hoping to find a reason to collaborate. And they seemed just came to me asking if I'd be interested in doing something other than my song Gone to kind of be more inclusive and, uh, you know, just trying I think in country music right now, we're really obviously going through a moment where we're trying to be more inclusive and bring people, uh, inside this, inside our circle. And, uh, so yeah, I was like, I love the Warren treaty. They're, they just, they're African American, uh, and they're, <laughs> but beyond that, they're just, they're just amazing people. And the yeah. song pride and the name of love talks about MLK and, and I also have Larkin's Poe, uh, Larkin Poe, these girls that shred on mandolin and, and uh, Dobro and Brittany Haas playing fiddle. So I'm surrounded by very talented women and the Warren Treaty. My job is just kind of stand there, not mess things up. But uh, the performance <laughs> is going to be the performance is going to be awesome. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I, I can't wait. I think it's going to be the highlight of the evening. I really do. I think it'll blow people away. Uh, if it had been alive, talent. if it was live in front of a huge audience, it would be a it would certainly be a big moment in the room for sure. Yeah, but definitely. hopefully it's a big moment on TV. Well, we can't wait to see you back in Dallas real soon and uh, thanks, continued guys. success. We'll look for you on Sunday night, okay? Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. Thanks, All right, Eric. thanks. Be out there in Salida. <laughs> <laughs>